all of my items are going to be discounted. I'm letting you know right now, I'm not gonna be doing this little back and forth with you. Now, let me see your items. I'll see if they qualify for a discount. You can go ahead and lose that little attitude, honey. Here's my first item. See these grooves? It's completely ruined. This is the design. I'm not giving a discount for that. Nope, give me your manager. I warned you I wasn't doing a back and forth with you. Hi, how may I help you, ma'am? Your employee is extremely rude and won't stop arguing with me. All I did was ask very nicely for a discount on a damaged item. I do apologize for her behavior. Are you serious? Unfortunately, ma'am, this is the design. It's supposed to mimic grass. I cannot give you a discount for this. Unacceptable. After the way I was just treated, get me another manager. Absolutely, ma'am. Are you serious? You're allowing her to shop managers? Hi, how can I help you? I hope you can help me because it seems that you don't have anyone in your staff that's competent. You know how often I shop at this chain of stores? I've never been treated this way. Absolutely ridiculous. Some of the worst customer service that I've ever experienced. I will be calling corporate after this. I asked for a discount in a completely damaged item and this is how I'm treated. Oh my God, ma'am. I'm so sorry that you went through that. I really apologize for their behaviors. Oh, we can get this discounted for you absolutely no no it doesn't matter if it's not damaged 20 percent easily every single thing in your cart too absolutely we take customer service very seriously here hm, that's what i thought someone who finally has customer service and what was your name i'm tina and i'll definitely be speaking to my employees about this Hi, how may I help you? I don't have time for incompetence today. Is Tina working? For safety reasons, we're not allowed to give employee schedules to customers, but if you'd like a manager, I'll gladly get one for you. Shut up. Get me Tina. I need a manager to the front immediately. Hi, how may I help you? Where's Tina? She's not here today. How can I help you? All of my items needed discounting, and I know you can do 20% because Tina does 20%, so don't tell me that you can't do it because I know you can. You just choose not to. <laughs> Careful. Oh, I'm careful. Jeez, you just touched me. Call the cops. 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 Please call them. You broke my new iPhone. That's not an iPhone. Your music was so loud you startled me. I dropped it. Now you owe me a new iPhone. I'm not getting you a new one. What are you doing? You pushed me over. No, I didn't. I have you on camera. I haven't moved. I could not have this up here. Yeah, I can. Oh, no Karen's allowed? Yeah, so you should probably leave. No, this is not permitted in yeah, this neighborhood. Yeah, it is. Can you move? No, it's not! out again, so that is really, really scary. She's an extremely scary person. Don't take pictures of She is an extremely scary person. You're not allowed to film me. Excuse me, this is copyrighted. You are not allowed to film me. Um, so I've got... Why did you speak three hundred dollars to look like a Karen? Okay, let's practice. Let's practice. <laughs> Let me speak to your manager. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to speak to your manager. <laughs> oh my god. You need to have that here. I don't. Misery. I don't have it in the store, but I could probably order it for you. I'm not interested in waiting. I've seat? already waited a long time for the paperback to come out. Mi Paul Sheldon, Misery's child. Misery, misery in France, misery betrayed, misery in love. You don't know any of these books? What kind of uh, what kind of cockadoodie bookstore is this that you don't even know Paul Sheldon? Paul Sheldon who Let me tell you something. I am Paul Sheldon's number one. I love my children. But my children do not always come first. Sometimes I get to come first. There's also a person inside of me. I'm trying to fish here, dude. Right. I mean, like, literally trying to catch right there. I'm trying to fish here, man. Yeah. What? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep. Good job, dude. This is how you handle a Karen. A stay away from the other people, you hear me? And if you stay in this fucking chair, get the fuck out. Do that again. I'll kick you out myself. First you parked too close to me, and then you hit me with your truck! I didn't do any of that. Yes you did! No I didn't! Yes you did! No! Listen to me! I'm done listening. You are officially crazy.
crazy? You want to see crazy? I left my dog in the car to run in and get something. And this gentleman decided to break my two windows. And now he won't leave because he said the police are supposed to be coming. And he's harassing them. Ooh, my man smashed two of her windows because she left her dog in the back of a hot car while she went in to get groceries. Good. What's the first thing you do when you get in your car on a hot day? Stop, no, please. no, I'm not. You roll your windows down. No, but seriously, just crack the fucking window. If you crack the window a little bit, they can stick their snout out. They can get a little fresh air. Probably not advisable anyways, but you keep them shits roll all the way up on a hot day and a passerby sees that shit, they're going to elbow that window so damn fast. You know that in this country, people love animals more than they love humans. No one gives a fuck about your car, your Subaru. They're worried about the animal in the back of that car. But I will call the cops Why? because I cannot deal with this noise. Move the fucking truck somewhere else. The neighbor oh, send the email. The neighbor send the email and do the work today. Yeah, he said that you'd be working. He didn't say that you'd be packing a piece of heavy machinery in front of my house. Where can I park? Fucking move! You just said, okay. Move! If you don't move, I will call the police. Do you permission. understand? I've got permission from email. This is my house. I live here. Move it up to his place. Yeah, but it's blocking the point. I don't thing. give a shit. Move it. Yeah. Hey, look, look, we can't move it. We can't look, move. I will call the cops. Call him, call, call him. him. Don't yeah. worry. I've got email. You're a fucking asshole. I can't believe you have allowed them to park a heavy piece of machinery yeah. in front of my house. Yeah. All right, fine, fine. Do what you like. Do what you like. Um, excuse me. Hi. Yeah, what's up? Only people who work here are allowed behind the counter? Do you work here? Oh, yeah, I do. I've been at college. This is my first day back. And how long have you worked here? Almost three years. Oh. Okay. So I won't have to train you or anything, right? Nope. I know this place like the back of my hand, so I will be good to go. Okay. A few minutes later. Um, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just making a caramel latte. Was there something you needed? Well, that's not how we make it here. Oh, yeah, it is. No, it's not. I would know. I've been here three years. This is the way that we're supposed to make it. How how do you think we're supposed to make it? Um, the way I do it is I take the cold milk and then I add caramel to it um, and mix that together and then steam that while the espresso is going and then pour all of it into a cup. Okay, well, I'm not saying you're wrong, but the way I learned how to do it is you take the caramel and the espresso and you mix that together because the espresso is hot and it melts and dissolves the caramel and then you steam the milk and you put it all together. That's the way I learned it. Okay, I've been here three months, I know how to do something, and that's not the right way to do it. Again, you don't have to train me. Um, I know how to do this, and this way works for me. If your way works for you, that's great, but that way won't work for me personally. Whatever. Thank you for calling the place I used to work at. This is Jillian. How can I help you? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm on the phone. Yeah. Yeah, we can definitely get that for you. Okay. You have a great day too. Bye-bye. What are you doing? That is not how you answer the phone. What? Well, first of all, that's way too long of an introduction. The customer obviously knows where they're calling. So all you have to say is, hello, this is Adelaide. Um, all you have to say is your name. That's it. Okay, I hope that works for you. But for me, that's not going to work because I've had people in the past who literally have called us and realized it's the wrong number after I've said, hey, this is the place I work at. If I just say, this is Jillian, there's no indication of that. Well, it works for me, and that's great, but I'm not doing that. You say you've worked here three years, but you don't know how to do simple tasks. I don't understand. And I don't need you to act like my boss because you have only worked here three months and you have no idea what you're doing. So if you will please leave me alone so I can do my job the way I was taught to do it, and you can keep doing the way you're doing it, okay? Ah, don't care. <laughs> Super good question. Thanks for asking. The answer is no. 
Every single time Karen has hurt me, it's been completely intentional. This is the Karen lock. Whenever you use a public charger with Tesla's adapter, anyone can come by and unplug it. But with the Karen lock, all you have to do is slide it over the tip of the adapter and then plug the car in just like you normally would. And now no one can come by and unplug your Tesla while it's charging. I hate to generalize. Makes Parking me dispute. different than you. Yeah. The fact that I've lived here for 20 okay, and I years. But just laying my eyes on this woman makes me feel like there's a manager around that she's about to scream at. Don't, Don't park, park up against Don't my car. Say, say, <laughs> Don't park up against my car? It's street parking, bitch. You, can park. you might own the house, but you damn well don't own this street. I'm parked wherever the hell I want. But what you can do is shut the f- Uh-oh. Oh! 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 <laughs> she got bodied! Man, if you go for somebody's phone, you gotta expect the forearm shiver. That was like a Madden 2017 right bumper juke hit and just flopped her on her ass, dude. Oh, no, I think she was going for the spit in her face thing, which is way worse than batting the phone. In that case, I would have dunked her head off the pavement maybe one more time. Listen, I like to see old women get hurt. Despite but listen, if you're going to get all up in someone's face and try to either bat their phone or spit in them over a verbal parking dispute, you're going to get your head cracked on the pavement. It's just math. This restaurant has the worst service ever. I went to Karen's Diner and this is how my night went. You know, just get my face. Do you want a menu here? Oh just my god. You have yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking three followers. <laughs> what about me? It's fucking coming. Wait, what's time? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the bed. <laughs> so if your idea of fun involves burgers and getting roasted, check out Karen Steiner in Top Ride. <laughs> see a difference I don't see it what don't you get are you dumb what do you mean your nose is different than mine your hair is different than mine you just tell me why won't you adopt I'm me I'm not gonna say it why won't you adopt me because you're black <laughs> oh now he's crying like a little baby <laughs> no one's going to adopt a baby like you <laughs> Come on, Pam. Let's go find a white angel. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. What's going on, little man? Why are you crying? Because I don't have a mommy or a daddy. No one will ever want to adopt me. Why do you say that? Because I'm not special enough. I think you're special. You do? Yeah. What's your name? Damien. Damien. My name's Bob. Nice to meet you. My dear. You wanna know a little secret? Sure. When I was about your age, I was an orphan here too in this orphanage. You were? I was. But one day, a really nice couple came. They must have thought I was special. Because they adopted me. They took me home. They gave me a great life. Amen. So I thought, when I grow up and I'm ready to be a dad, maybe I can come here and find a special kid that will let me be his dad. You're here to adopt someone? Right. And I've been talking to Miss Elena and all the other nice people that work here and all your little friends. They tell me they think you are a very special kid. They do? They all do. For real? <laughs> yeah. So I thought maybe if it's okay with you, maybe, maybe I can be your dad. That would be a dream come true. <laughs> well, what do you say we go and talk to Miss Elena about that? And maybe she can help us arrange it. Sounds great. Let's go. So what's your favorite sport? Football. Mine too. Whoa. What's wrong? I don't like that mean man and lady over there. 
Why not? Because they said I was gross, and they never got me. 